Success and abundance aren't about luck. They're about strategy. Just say this two-word mantra that successful people sweeter by for financial prosperity, and you will never lack money again. Let me share something powerful. Principles never fail, but people do. Today, we're going to discuss two of the most powerful words you'll ever learn. These ancient biblical words hold immense power, and I'm here to reveal their true meaning. Use them whenever you find yourself lacking, whether it's money or anything else you need in life. Trust me, apply these words, and you'll witness miracles. Why does society often miss the mark? We prioritize learning math, science, and technology in school, but who teaches us the inner principles, the most crucial ones? Imagine the moment you realize you're not a victim of circumstances, but a creator of them. Your entire world changes. You go from being like a cork in a storm, tossed around aimlessly, to owning a ship with a sail and rudder, steering toward your desired destination. That's the day your consciousness awakens. You understand you're not at the mercy of reality. You create it. All external circumstances originate from within. Everything internal creates the external. This revelation is profound and comes to every human at some point in this life or the next. Once you realize you've created everything within yourself, you take a quantum leap to a new paradigm. You need to pay more attention to your inner self, your thoughts and emotions. These are shaping your external reality through both conscious and unconscious patterns, mainly unconscious. Consider this. When you focus on a new reality mentally, even science backs this up with the wave collapse theory. Science tells us everything is a wave of possibility until an observer focuses on one reality. Then the wave becomes a particle and materializes into physical reality. This is called materialization. Materialization happens due to the observer effect discovered over 200 years ago. Matter behaves differently based on the observer's expectations. These expectations, stemming from beliefs, determine how possibilities materialize into reality. This was shown in the famous double-slit experiment, but that's a story for another day. Isn't it fascinating how quantum physics is now uncovering what Jesus of Nazareth taught over 2,000 years ago? Jesus told his disciples, According to your faith, it will be done to you. Why couldn't they perform miracles, overcome life's challenges, earn more money, heal from illnesses, or find true love? Jesus said, Because of your lack of faith, if you had faith as small as a mustard seed, nothing would be impossible for you. This is why I always wear a necklace that contains mustard seeds to remind me that faith moves the world. You only need faith as small as a mustard seed, the tiniest seed that grows into the largest shrub. If Jesus emphasized faith, we need to understand what faith really is. Faith is certainty, security, and conviction, knowing and believing in what you expect to happen in your life. This is what you are creating. This is wave collapse. Your faith is your programming, your subconscious programming. This subconscious programming shapes your life, determining what you believe about the world and yourself. What happens to you on the outside is a direct reflection of your inner beliefs. So according to your conviction and faith, it is given to you. The Bible describes faith as the conviction of things not seen and the certainty of things hoped for. This is like the observer effect in quantum physics. The expectation and certainty of what the observer believes will happen causes the wave of possibility to act in a certain way and become reality. Jesus of Nazareth told us that everything is faith. According to your faith, it is given to you. Faith is your conviction, your belief system, your programming, and your mindset. This is why he gave us the keys. There are two powerful words that help you identify yourself. Remember, your faith is your identification, your identity, and what you have identified with in life. How can we change our identity with these two words, which also align with the name of God, the Creator? 
These two words are, I am. Now I have something crucial to share with you about the power of I am and I have. Did you know that in English, they use the same verb for both concepts? Think about it. Every time you say, I am, the universe goes on high alert. The quantum field springs into action. When you combine the words, I am, with the genuine feeling of what you claim to be, you start molding your identity. Do you have money problems? Is it because you say, I have money problems, or I am poor? The key isn't to lie to yourself, but to genuinely declare what you want to be. Say, I am rich and feel rich. When you do this, you transform the wave of possibility into a particle of abundance. You create abundance around you because you are vibrating at that frequency. I am abundant. I am rich. I am prosperous. Everything I touch prospers. I advance my life victoriously. I am, a, I do, I have, and I go. Whatever you identify with, you're telling your mind and the quantum field what you are in this reality. This is a vital secret I learned many years ago from a story that most of you might already know. I read about a father and son who lived with his wife and young son. Every night before bed, the father would tuck in his son and say beautiful words to him. He'd say, you are my Superman, my Spider-Man, my He-Man, my favorite superhero. It was like telling his son, you can achieve anything. You are a winner, a champion. Every night of his life, he told this to his son. One night, the father had to work late, and the mother put the child to bed. When the father came home, he and his wife were in the kitchen, having dinner and talking about their day. Suddenly, a small head peeked through the kitchen door. It was the boy. The father asked, Son, what are you doing up so late? The boy replied, Dad, I can't sleep because you forgot to tell me who I am. Isn't that powerful? If you don't tell yourself who you are, the world will tell you. The world will say, You can't prosper. You're too old or too young to succeed. People like us are born to be poor. The world will tell you who you are. People will say, you can't find love. You have too old or too young for it. Now is not the time. One of life's secrets is to tell yourself who you are and what you want to become. Life isn't about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. This is the great secret of life, and it all starts with these two powerful words. I am. People often say to those who succeed, you're so lucky. But it's not luck. It's commitment, dedication, consistency, and most importantly, an unstoppable mindset. The way to achieve results is through your mindset. You are here transforming your lives because you've decided to do so. Everything I teach is based on what has worked for me and what I've learned from the most successful people on the planet. We're not here to be comfortable. We're here to work. To truly succeed, you must do more, not less. Don't avoid pain. Use it. The more you give, the more you will receive. This divine obsession is transforming millions of lives. So the first thing you should prioritize in your life is your well-being. Your problems will shrink because you are growing. The universe is mental. What you think manifests. Protect your energy as if it were the greatest treasure on earth. I'm not waiting for a miracle. I'm creating one. Thank you for watching.